from Canada. Yeah. Hey, that's that's is Ian Thornley um, from Big Rack. Mm -hmm. So that, that was a good one. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's still early. It's, it's still, still early. early. I gotta. Yeah. Hey, nice to have you here in Session Music here. It's great to be here, man. Thanks yeah, for having cool. me. So, so what brings you to Session here? Um, well, Sewer. Yeah. Sewer brought me, so uh, I'm, and I happen to be in the neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're in Germany doing a, doing a few shows. Um, yeah, you had an awesome gig last night. Yeah. So I joined it. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. It, 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 you know, there's a bit of uh, a bit of an adjustment. We're, we're everything scaled down, and, and uh, it's um, it's kind of refreshing in a way because we're not on in ears. You know, yeah. uh, usually we tour with in ears, and everything's everything's mixed really pristine, and uh, it's kind of. It's 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 kind of raw and it's kind of a little a little looser and and you know there's no click track that, that we can for the intro of a song you usually have a little bit of click so I I can just start playing and everybody knows where the time is and you know and then all of a sudden I'll start the riff and we're in yeah um, so now it's like you know Chuck's back there giving giving us time on the hi hats and uh, so and I and I quite I quite enjoy that and I and I think uh, once you like after the first night I had to. I had to sort of realign my expectations, you know, because yeah. I was like, "This is this is very different." Uh, and plus, it, you know, the audience is a lot smaller. The places are a lot smaller. Um, but I, I think it, it's all a matter of how you look at it. And I, I think um, for me, it, it's just well, this is a, it's, it's a great opportunity, and and the people that are coming out are real fans. You know, yeah. there might not be thousands of them. Yeah. There might be fifty. But those 50 people are coming from all, like, there's a guy from Austria last night. There was people from Canada. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, you know, these people are, and they're they're true fans. Um, and, I, you know, you can't, uh, that that's not lost on me. I think that's that's wonderful. Um, yeah. And and, and the, the uh, hopefully we're turning people on that, that uh, maybe have never heard of it or yeah. never heard of us or... Okay, so yesterday night was the, uh, the second show? The second show, yeah. So we have a few left, so you're yeah. playing Berlin and Hamburg and Cologne. Mm -hmm. So, cool. Yeah. Good thing. So, I mean, you play you play such a great guitar, but, 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 but I mean, what, what I recognize yesterday, you are an insane singer. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, thanks. I mean, um, I mean, you studied at Berkeley, but, but, but um, how, did, uh, how did this this affect your playing? I mean, um, uh, not really. Um, <clears throat> I mean, university is not creating good guitar players. Is it? No, absolutely not. No. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's a saying, I don't know if it still rings true, but there was a saying certainly when I was going, that's like 90, 91 maybe, yeah. when I was in college. And I went for three years and they, they always said like, well, I, I mean, you can stay in and get your get your degree or your diploma. Yeah. And then usually you end up that that's that's uh, you're going to end up that's the path of, of teaching and, and the sort of education of music and as opposed to just strictly the performance of it or the writing of it or um, and I you know I think you can you can get whatever you want from it you know as long as you're as long as you're sort of clear on what what you want to get from it you yeah. know I, I just said I, I went initially because of, um, 
I wasn't going to go. I wasn't going to be a professional basketball player. Yeah. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't going to be a. a um, you know, I wasn't going to go to a normal university. Um, so I knew, I knew it was going to be involved in music. Um, I didn't know I was going to start a band. I didn't know. Um, yeah, but sometimes you get uh, you get new labels on all the stuff you you played before. Yeah, yeah that's it. Well, that's I, I, I and I've said that before in <laughs> interviews and, and and things is is. Uh, for me it was a lot of the sounds and I, I played piano before I played guitar uh, and it's a lot of the sounds that I knew and a lot of the things that it, now it's just it had a name so so yeah, like sure. you know like yeah, a, yeah. so if I take my third and my fifth and yeah. then I flat to five or sharp to four then it's oh that's Lydian oh okay got okay. it now you know what I mean Lydian. yeah so yeah. then it's like you know I think we're gonna write I'm gonna write a riff in Lydian so as, a, as opposed to like yeah. ooh, that's yeah. a weird note you know no, so um, so so before it was uh, the Steve Vai scale there yeah <laughs> Steve Vai. The, 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 I'm an alien Lydian. yeah no yeah. Not, it's Lydian that's Lydian yeah. Um, so yeah all those things are um, they're useful tools and they help they help uh, sort of streamline uh, a lot of a lot of the conversations and, and you know the sort of rehearsals or, or t teaching a, a, a riff to a to one of the other guys or or, or learning one and you know yeah. you can just sort of use the vernacular and it just it just um, sort of speeds things up which is great um, and, it, and then it just for me mainly it was just being surrounded with all other musicians you know everybody else was 19 or 20 or 21 and I was just just extremely passionate about music, and and no matter what it was, people from I did, my roommate in the second semester was from from Frankfurt. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Nico von Rintelen. Yeah, um, and it, it, you know, and there's people from all over the world there. There's and so many German guys who go to to Berkeley yeah. or, or to oh, the yeah. GIT. Mm -hmm. uh, pff, so many German. Guys. Yeah, and I, I, you know, that's you can't you can't beat that experience. It just. Yeah. Um, be, being exposed to that much uh, knowledge and, and you know I, yeah. I'm not really a jazz guy but it's a great it's a great tool to, to, to teach you know yeah um, so yeah I, you know and that's how I got that's how I met the guys in Big Rack you know that's how we started yeah I mean we all uh, we all influenced by by anything yeah so so what what do you would you say is your is your biggest influence when it when it comes to guitar players, to guitar, yeah. um, I don't know. I, I, I since I've been doing these sort of clinicy things, that yeah. people that keep saying Eric Johnson, and it's like, I, of course, I'm a huge fan, you know. And yeah. I've I've been, you know, trying to steal his thing for years, but I don't <laughs> think I'm anywhere near. Like you know, I'm I'm a, like, it's maybe it's just sort of when I'm just sort of going off with without any accompaniment, or I'm not with the band or I don't have you know changes to solo over I'm just going off yeah. maybe I'm sort of like maybe it sounds a little more like like Eric which I just take that as a compliment that's fantastic why not yeah and it you know if 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 it's working then it's you know that's like I've been working so hard to try and cop that thing and I guess it's paying off um, but yeah I mean he's a big one for me I you know I don't think you're gonna get much better than him as far as uh, just everything um, and it's you know I, I I'm I'm influenced by a lot of guys. Yeah. You know, I mean, like Stevie Ray was big for me initially, like uh, probably my first real. Yeah. And Jimmy Page was a big one. Knopfler's a big one. Uh, Steve Morris is is a huge influence. Um, yeah. What I what I heard at the at the warm up before you have an insane Jimi Hendrix vibrato, like like woo, 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 pretty yeah. pretty much, yeah. Well, I'm, I, I mean, that's something that, that, that you the work hard on. It's so important. It's yeah. something you, you work, I spend a lot of time on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then... So besides yeah, all the chops you're practicing on it, I mean, I mean, sure, I mean, I bet you do all the time. Well, no, I, that's yeah. something you can forget when you're, when you're, you're yeah. doing this all the time. You can forget that, you know, you need to remember to... Yeah. You know, because yeah. it's a whole different, it's a yeah. different, you, it's a lot more sort of visceral and physical. Yeah. This you need to forget about that a little more and get the, the don't put so much muscle into it. At least, at least for me, um, for me it makes more sense to do this a little like lighter and, and, and not be so. Um, yeah. But it, of course, you get on the stage and your adrenaline's going. You tend to muscle through things a little more. Anyway. Yeah, but sometimes on the vibrator the muscles get hard and yeah. you get like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you gotta you gotta you gotta limber up and make sure that you're. Yeah. 
you know, good, good to go. <laughs> so what is the latest thing you're practicing on? So what's, what's your, what's your, your lick at the moment? Your... My lick of the yeah. moment? <laughs> lick of the morning. I don't know. Lick of the morning. <laughs> what do you think, Nigel? What, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the lick of the morning? Um, I don't know. I, I honestly, it just, I, when I'd say I'm sort of in road mode, you know, I don't, I don't, I, when I'm at home, I'll have more of a, I'll have things that I'm actually working on. Oh, really? Okay. Tech, technique, technique things that, yeah, that yeah. I'm, that I'm, things that I feel like I need to brush up on. Like, um, alternate picking is something that, you know, you really have to maintain. Absolutely. And, and it can go. And for the, with, for me, this guitar is really hard to pick on because of where this bloody volume knob <laughs> is. Um, but that's something that, that I'm always just sort of, and, and, and um, this sort of, these double, like picking up past. Yeah, yeah. So always a mixture between the the alternate picking and the mini sweep. Yeah, the mini yeah. sweep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the that's the Eric thing. Eric, it took absolutely. me forever yeah. to figure that out, and then and then it was like, oh, that's the way he's doing. It. Yeah, <laughs> because it's just so, it's just so fluid and beautiful when he does it. Um, but I also love the, the that sort of Steve Morris version where you just pick in every note and it's all alternate. But he's not doing any mini sweeps at all. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> strictly alternate, like. Yeah, yeah. Like when he does a when he when you would do one of those, he's picking alternate. Bop 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 bop. No thanks. Um, I mean, he's even he's even picking the arpeggios. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No thanks. I'm not like. I to, it takes another lifetime just to learn that lick. Yeah. I'm not, I'm all set. I'll just. <laughs> Life is short. <laughs> yeah. I'll use my fingers. Yeah. You know. Um, so yeah. Uh, But what you do a lot is 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 that yeah that hybrid thick, uh, picking thing. Yeah, no, that's something I do a lot of. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I just always kind of figured the, the fingers are there already, and it was easier. It's a, it's a different sound. In, in road mode, there's not a lot of time spent working on particular things, at least for me. Yeah. I'd say I do spend a lot of time um, staying loose and staying limber and, and just sort of keeping it like, okay, well, I gotta make sure that, that my vibrato is, is in shape i got to make sure that everything's limber and and, and i can yeah. you know i can do any reach I, i don't do a lot of big reaches but in case I, you know if the spirit moves yeah, you in your middle cool. of the, if I mean, you're in the middle of the solo yeah. and you want and you want one of those kind of like, what's it let me see if i can yeah, let it roll. see if i can get away with <laughs> one of these ones i can't remember who i ripped this one <laughs> I, I love that kind of thing, um, but if you just say, you you know you want to make sure that you see you can tell that I'm not really quite there yet, yeah. but because uh, it is early, but uh, yeah I just sort of like it's it's the bare um, the essentials are the things that I concentrate on when I'm in road mode. When I get home it's there's a few different pieces by other guitar players that I'm sort of yeah. studying and, and trying to yeah but that hybrid picking thing is mostly you can hear that on on pretty uh, Pretty traditional stuff like uh, mm -hmm. Lee or that the country yeah, yeah, yeah. chicken picking thing, yeah. but you do it in a very modern way. It's I, very I, modern. Like I mean, oh. last time I heard that was from 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 Brad Garcet from the uh, yeah. played with Sean Lane. Mm -hmm. He plays or, or he played with a pinky, but you do as well. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> I mean, if it's there, why not? You know. Um, yeah. When I first started playing guitar, I, I was no good with a pick. Yeah. Um, it just felt really foreign. I kept dropping it, um, and it sounds different. It's, it does. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I was I was initially just sort of a, a finger style kind of finger picking guy, um, and as you know, at Berkeley, I just sort of it really is like you really have to start from from scratch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And so you can do this, or you can do this, and all these different things. I had to try to do the Steve Morse thing. And I'm like, what's this? Ooh. <laughs> Um, and, but it's a, you know, it's a different, a different angle, a different. Uh, but yeah, it's just sort of, I, 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 it's constantly yeah, changing. Yeah, yeah. It's constantly changing. I'm, I'm constantly trying to find, you know, as I get older, I'm just like, what's easier? You know, <laughs> yeah, like inherently lazy as a guitar player. I, you know, I, I think I'm, a pretty diligent. I practice every day. There's guitar in my hands every day. I'm always playing. But, uh, you know, I just, I, I figure 
if it's uncomfortable and you're fighting and you're straining to do something, you're doing it wrong. You know, you should you should be yeah. doing something else. Yeah. When I was younger, it was like I wanted it to hurt a little bit. I want I was playing really heavy strings and high action and a, and, a, and a lot of that, and I wanted it to be that way. Yeah. You know, it's almost like a like a macho man kind of thing when you're like, yeah, I got thirteens. What do you got? You know, and it's just like at the end of the day, it, you're you're it's it's hard in the hands. Um, so, so in my opinion, it's not the way to do uh, yeah, do the big strings. No, it's, it's absolutely. Well, these are these are twelves. Yeah. But that's for slide. For slide you know? yeah. yeah. And I have the uh, the actions jacked up. So that's that's, and that's a totally different thing. But uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I figure as long as it as long as I can keep things, they're not really a juggling act, but it kind of is. You know, you have to make sure you're spending enough time on all these different aspects that you're yeah. playing. You know. So what was the lick before? Now will ask for like 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 that oh. hybrid thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> well there's a d bunch of different ways you can do it, but uh, so it's just yeah, it picks on the G string yeah. and then the middle and ring fingers are on the B and E. So, ah. so you do it throw yeah. throw in a little hammer on pull up. Yeah. Yeah, you can just keep yeah. going with it. It's yeah, a lot of fun. Going, yeah. yeah. It's very it's cool to have that really picky easy. attack from the fingers. That's it's really easy to yeah. do, but when you get it, when you really get it going, it sounds like you're doing a lot more than you are. Just be it's something you can do it's while like, you're thinking yeah. about something else to play. Pretty much like a banjo roll, a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. a reverse <laughs> banjo roll. It's very simple. Um, but but you know, it's it's for, I, there's not a night goes by where I don't play that lick. You know, <laughs> in a show, it's like my go-to. Like I'm out of ideas. Yeah. And I'm thinking of something else to do. While but yesterday night you did some insane chops. Eh? Like like woo, 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 oh, what's yeah. that light lightning speed, uh, picking high, high, uh, hybrid alternate everything. Yeah. Uh, well, again, that's you know. I, I like that a good warm up is, is, is yeah a good warm up is essential. Same with my throat. Like I, I before yeah. a show, there's usually if I'm if I can, I like two hours uh, to get my hands going. Um, so I'm still in coffee mode. Like it's still morning. And I'm still yeah. like, um, but yeah, it's a, a good two hours. You can just get my hands going and get my throat going and just sort of start really easy. Yeah, I mean, um, and get it really yeah. li limber and, and make sure that you know. And it, last night, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, I it, it was some. There was some. I still hit a couple clams, <laughs> but you know, and I'm, I certainly sang a couple clams. I think because it's kind of hard to hear the, the monitors and everything's so different. Um, but yeah, you know. I mean, as you are um, a very good singer, a very very good singer. I mean, you you're modulating the vibrato and and finding the lines. And how does that affect your playing on the guitar? Um, I don't know. I I remember. Does it, There's a wonderful guitar player does it from Toronto. Change? I, I think so. the way you play guitar, the way you form the tone, I the, think, the yeah, way I, you. I think it's. I think they're. If you're doing, if you're doing it right, I think they kind of become the same. As I, I was, uh, Colin Linden, um, another uh, a guitar player from Toronto, but he lives in Nashville now. Um, a wonderful guitar player, and an incredible slide player as well. Um, and I, I had this conversation with him, but and he he said that my vibrato was was kind of the same on the guitar that it, that it is. I think maybe he was talking like the, how how much it oscillates or the speed of it. Yep. But it's kind of the same in the guitar as it, as it was with my vocal. And I was like, hmm. Isn't That's that what I meant. Thing? Yeah. Because I, I don't think you can't really control what your voice sounds like. You know, there's 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 things you can do technically to prolong it. Yeah. You know, so you're not burning it out. But yeah, at the end of the day, you're stuck with this this face and this head and this throat and these lungs. It's in this diaphragm. It's it's all you know. Everybody's different. But it takes effect on the playing and on the, yeah, the, think, on, the on the lines you're creating. If your head's out of the way, I would think that yeah, you know, the, the best guitar players are always the ones that that, that are the most the vocal. In my point, yeah, in my opinion, I think yeah. that's you know things that lines that I can sing either with my voice or in my head when it's just or oh, the saxophone, whatever. Yeah, we had that conversation the other day about David Gilmour, like all, <laughs> all of his solos. He never played a fast lick, never. He didn't have to, <laughs> you know. He said more with with you know a, yeah. a, a nice beautiful melody line. That's just 
they they become so iconic and I, and I, you know I wonder it's like did he lay lay in bed at night you know <laughs> how am I gonna you know change guitar playing with only a couple of notes and, and I don't think so you probably just plugged it in and had a go and and that's what popped out uh, I, I like that bit and that there you go and it's like this beautiful iconic thing that. Everyone, guitar player or not, can can sing, yeah. and quote. It's all about music. Yeah. Music. At the end of the day, it's 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 easy to get caught up in this, and I certainly do on a daily. Um, I, I get stuck in the technique, the you know, the chasing speed and and. Maybe it's easier to oh, practice yeah. some 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 lightning speed licks as. I think it is. Practice singing on the guitar because there's a lot of there's a lot of um, your your head's involved in a different way uh, and your body's involved in a different way yeah. but when you when it's really just happening and that's I think at the end of the day what you really want to try and achieve is is to sort of get outside yourself and get out of the way and then then you're actually in a position where you're listening to yourself yeah you know um, is it you know you listen to yourself and playing the same time listening and playing yeah. and listening and playing no oh. like it's I did just it's being like actually in yeah. the moment and it's like those those rare moments uh, those are what you're going for certainly if you're doing it on stage with an audience there that's the beauty that's the beauty of you know live performance yeah. and the beauty of music to me is is escapism just just being able to get out and you know actually actually listening and enjoying But it's almost like you're not there. Yeah. And it's, there's, it's very rare that I'm like, okay, I got to throw in that 16th note triplet run now. Yeah. In those moments, it's just like, wow, yeah. I can't believe I just played that when note I there. It's to create. When I usually yeah. play that note, but I think I like it. And then before you know it, you're out of yourself and you're just sort of following it. You're listening. Yeah. You're not like, now I'm gonna play, you know. That's it. Every once in a while, you got to come back, and that's when I throw. In I throw in that lick because I'm like, oh, shit, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> that was a beautiful melody, but now it's over. I, ooh, yeah. ooh, I hit that instead. So that you know, it's just one of those things. It's, I always, I always. So replacing the loss of creativity, like yeah. uh, with any links. With, with yeah, and I think a lot of guys do that. Yeah. You know, I, I always refer to it as, as tricking yourself into being inspired. You know, there's, a, you got to find out how to do that with yourself. Um, is how to, how to push yourself into a position. Yeah. Where you're, where you're inspired, and where you're in the moment. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time and everybody else's. Yeah. You know. So you play Sur guitars oh. and, and a Sur amplifier and a Sur effects. So you're pretty yeah. much a Sur guy. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so what do you like most in Sur? What do I like most? Yeah. Uh, um, that's a that's a that's a tough question. I, I like all of it, really. Or or, um, or why do you use all this? Why? Uh, Because I I think it's the best for me. Yeah. Um, you know, there's other things would be great for other guys. This this stuff just seems to um, it just seems intuitive to me. It's it seems like it's um, uh, the first the first guitar that John made me and and then sent that like, that started all this. I, and I remember saying it to him in an email. It just honestly it felt like um, it was instinctive. It felt like it was. Yeah. I'd go for a thing and like something that I I do that's maybe sort of idiosyncratic and different from you know just go for a thing and it would be right there with me and do it. Yeah. And and usually guitars that play like this and you can rip on don't don't react so well when you lean into them and you gas a string. And go, but yeah. these things all like they all stand up and um, so it kind of like it's whatever you make it. And it's like the more invisible that, that the instrument and all that stuff can become and, and just sort of putting you in a place where you're creating music, yeah. I, th I think the better. Um, so yeah, I, I, it, it all seems like that, like the, the Coco Boost, for instance, like that, you know, there you go. So you that's, use, that's okay, so you use here the Coco Boost for, um, for the mid-range, yeah. focusing a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, it just helps. Uh, for solos, I, I tend yeah. to I'll step on that because um, it'll help cut. Yeah, just go for it. Um, yeah, well, it's, it's uh, usually with the neck pickup. It sounds yeah. great. You hear like that? That's not. Like Yeah, 
Yeah, it's good for the harmonic stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can get it to squeal. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I just... Uh, I, I, but I think the favorite thing you use is the compressor, do you? Uh, are you it's well, very, very important for you. Yeah, it is, it is, with, yeah. It is with, with this rig. Um, and certainly at, at, a, at a lower volume, I, I tend to like to... Um, I mean, you even use it on, on the high gain distorted stuff. Yeah. Yeah, to get it more fluid. Yeah, just a little more fluid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, there's, I just love compression. Yeah. I, I know it's kind of cheating and it, you know, sort of leaning on it. And so let's hear the difference with, with compressor, without compressor. So what? now it's without compressor? Just playing yeah. like... Yeah. And But yeah, no, it's it's uh, um, it just sort of fills in fills in the gap between the notes a little bit. Yeah. And sort of uh, more gain for yeah. lack of a but I mean, I love the sound of uh, that. To me, is that's plenty of gain for me. And it's just when you want to just when you want to push it, you know. Other yeah. other guys use different things. I tend to use compressors to do that. Uh, Sometimes. But for the clean sound, it's very important. For the clean sound, it's a big thing yeah. for me. Uh, just to get things... Uh... Like, like on a high gain sound, but it isn't high gain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, it can get a little, a little, a little bit much on that kind of yeah. thing. But so I, yeah, I, I use a compressor a lot. Yeah, and, and this is a great one too. Yeah, and the Rufus is a pretty much uh, is is a very good first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I use that I, a lot in in the studio. Yes, I'm yeah, a big fan. A yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm a big fan of. Uh, let me see if I can take off the bright switch. That's usually these things can get a little unruly. Yeah. Um, I tend to use it like that. Yeah. Um, well, with the bass jacked. Well, it's not monophonic, it's polyphonic. Yes. It's tough but many fast phases uh, lets you play just single notes, but this is good for for chords. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, this is that's on the Octavia setting. Right? Yeah, you yeah. can get it to just the normal fuzz there. But that's you know that's great. And now this is greater. <laughs> It's like a ring modulator. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, I have a lot of fun with those things. So. Yeah. But it, you know, you just want big slabs of power chords. Yeah. I've found that you dump your tone back and step on an Octavia or this one indeed, because you can get more bass. Um, and it, it just fills everything out and the bass player kind of disappears for a minute. You know? yeah. So Sir is offering, uh, Many good amps, mine, the, yeah. um, the Badger or the Bella, but, but the Hedgehog is your favorite. Yeah, oh, right now it is for sure. Yeah. I, I, PT100 is my, my rig at home, is, is uh, the Pete Thorne amp. 
yeah. um, as my sort of main sort of I switch between clean and dirty on that. So and then awesome. I have yeah. one of these that's just set to the dirty sound, like just set to this. But that's on a on a volume pedal. So as I'm singing, yeah. I'll have a volume pedal here, and I'll just be bringing bringing in that because um, it's also that's the thing about this amp that I really like um, is that even on the dirt, it's still in dirty. Um, I can I can that works for me as a clean sound. singing of course yeah, so you know, when you're when you're singing and, and doing all that shit with with a whole band going and it just makes things a lot easier when you can just do this and you're clean yeah. uh and certainly with the other amp going but I, there's something about the voice of that dirty of this this thing here it's just it's just so mids and yeah. juicy and thick and uh Uh, so mids are always uh, the most important part. Of yeah. Well, usually with a what I found, and I told I told John that too, like a couple years ago when he let me play one of these like before they released them. It usually with a sound that's that throaty and wah, and open, you don't usually have like you don't usually have that kind of like a tight bottom like yeah. that. It usually gets a little loose and flubby. Yeah. And this is just, this is really, it, it's it's still tight and punchy and, and it doesn't go whoa whoa, it goes pop pop pop. Yeah, you know, pop, if you go pop pop pop, pop it'll, it'll yeah. do that with you. It doesn't go <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You know, which you'd usually get with like that kind of, um, like a gassed out sort of American sound. Yeah. Um, so you have a clean channel and a dirty channel yeah. on it. Yeah. And yeah. And it, yeah, and it's it's yeah, it's the the layout's great. Everything everything about it's great. I I think. Uh, so what do you have on the on the floorboard here? Well, this is this is these are just different sort of snapshots. So yeah. This is all MIDI. Yeah. Um, and you have a store button here, so. So you can store all yeah. the switches. If you're like. Yeah. This is a. That's my. Yeah. So the that's delay. the delay and, yeah. and reverb that come through there. You got that. You got a mid boost. Yeah. Um, the, the deep switch has two different, that's without, there's the first go. Um, I tend to use it on the first one. Yeah. And then of course a bright switch. So if you're not using a compressor, then you might want that. And then of course a boost. Uh, and then, and then, when you find something that you like, oh, well, that's something that I'll use. And you just press the store button, and you boom, and that's your that's sound done. number one. And then yeah. sound number three, I usually set as a di the dirty sound with no loop, so just dry dirt. And then four will be the same, the dirty but with the loop. With, yeah. with with shmoo. Yeah. So we learned a, uh, we learned a new new word today. Shmoo. 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 Yeah, <laughs> the shmoo area here. The shmoo area. Okay. So I mean, as you are um, a lightning fast hybrid picker, I'm sorry, but but Man. you <laughs> you you are an insane slide player as well. I, I don't know if you I'm are. insane, but <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I heard it. I just tune this to like. G. I mean, of course, you use so much open tunings. I mean, I saw the set list yesterday from Christian. Yeah. He's my uh, my guitar guy as well, and he, he told me, hey, that guy's using open tunings like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hell for you. Oh, wow, well, yeah, yeah, but but uh, but he did a good job, did he? <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what tunings do you do? You, uh, uh, it depends. I, what's your favorite, or what's what's your? I don't have thing? a favorite. Yeah. I, you know, around the house, I have a couple of guitars that'll always sort of be in different tunings, um, and it's just how you're feeling, or whatever. It's it, whatever you need for. 
yeah. for the song, is it? Well, when it comes to slide, I'm yeah. usually like, if I'm going to do sort of licks, then, then it'll have to usually be like an open chord. Yeah. Uh, Open C, open D, open E, open G, open A. Yeah. Those are pretty much the the basics. Yeah. Um, or unless it, unless of course I'm I'm capoed and then you know I'm just using it like that. Um, but yeah, I remember Ry Cooter once describing it as like the the G was the a little brighter and a little happier, um, and then as open D was a sort of the the the, the greasier bluesier kind of thing. Yeah. Um, which which I, I I would tend to agree with. I'm I'm a half step down, of course, but um, yeah, I, I you know sometimes I I'll start in a, in open G and it just doesn't feel like it's happening, and then I'll tune to open E or open open D, yeah. and then it's like okay, here we are, there we go, or or indeed sometimes in G like if I tune it up to open A as opposed to capoing it, if I then you just get more tension and it's it. It does get a little sunnier, you know, and, yeah. um, and that can be fun as well, you know, for the for trick stuff, just for you know, blowing as it were. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, albatross. That's an open C, um, or or open B, sorry, because we're, we're a half step down. So I, you know, when I'm playing slide, I, I I tend to not like the slide in standard tuning. You know, yeah. I used to do it quite a bit, and uh, I don't think I never on record or anything, but but um, I used to we used to mess around with that, and I just you tend to get locked into certain areas. I've messed with it and trying to like change things up and do my own thing with it, and I'm just like, eh, just sort of leave leave it for somebody else. You know, yeah. somebody else go barking up that tree. Um, I think Derek Trucks, I think, is an open E guy, but he kind of plays anything with anyone and he's an open E and you'd never like he's just so great at that open E is his tuning like he kind of yeah, yeah. he owns that so and he can play in any key while he's still an open E like he's yeah. just fantastic um, but yeah I tend to I tend to but some guys are playing with the fingers as well like with a slide at the same time <laughs> yeah no I do that a lot too that's that's a Sonny Landra yeah. thing that I ripped from yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Exactly the way it should be. Man. Oh, I don't know man. about that. that was like a lot of guys that do a lot, a lot better than me. Wow. I actually, honestly, I don't spend, I don't sit around the house playing slide. That's something I don't. Practice, I don't believe it. Which I should. I, I swear. No, I, I spent a long time trying to get this, uh, trying to do Ry Cooter's. Yeah, the tone. The tone. Yeah, and the vibrato. Yeah, and yeah. It just, I spent a long time. Get it loose. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I, of course, I spent a lot. <laughs> As I can tell by the way you smell. I used to listen to the intro of that for years and years. Just the first 10 seconds of the tune, just like, nope, wind it back. Nope, wind it back. Nope, wind it back. Uh, just the gnarliest tone I ever heard. So I, I spent a lot of time doing that, and I spent a lot of... All that sort of Sonny Landreth kind of stuff. I spent a lot of time trying to rip his thing as well. And then once I, I don't know how long that I bet you did. <laughs> maybe like a good year of just like slide. And then after that, I, I you know, I, I pull it out and I love it. Okay, no, so I'm not saying so after like that, you got it all down. <laughs> yeah, but it's not something that for me, you know, I kind of got to a place with it and, I, and that's it, you know. Yeah. I, I kind of, I, I don't sit down and say, okay, I want to start ripping Derek Trucks's thing or whatever. It's just sort of, it's such a, there's there's moments where I can just um, get really lost in it, but that's usually when when we're doing something, not sitting around practicing, um, and uh, certainly I should more. But but it's 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 another thing when you take a guitar like this and then set it up for slide. I was like sitting around the house and I'm like, well, I don't want to play slide on this thing anymore. I want to shred on it. So I just start dumping the action and putting normal strings on it. Yeah. And then it, then it's the, the slide thing goes out the window. So it's you know it is a it's a very useful tool and, and something is very expressive because it, there's a million ways to hit a note with it. You're not locked down to where the fret oh, tells you the note tone. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I, you know I've no, I've noticed that I like to I hear my thirds a little bit south of, of where they normally should be. I like they they seem, they seem a little sweeter to me. Mm. Um, for instance, like. Being there, or being just below, and then you put some shake on it, so you're getting in there and around there. But if it's just south, it just tends to be sweeter. Um, so I probably, when I tune it open, so it sounds dark. When, yeah. when I when I tune an open chord, I'm, usually I can guarantee you this is where it sounds right to me. If I go to the tuner. It's sharp. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Oh, well, that's different on a sewer, I guess. Usually, on a sewer, everything's perfect. <laughs> but usually, I, I'll hear my thirds a little bit lower. Yeah. Yeah. That's where they sound sweetest. I'm Bang on. Uh, but anyway. That's a sore guitar. <laughs> it's a sore. Of course it's going to be in. <laughs> okay. So with Big Rack, you're doing all the song structure and you're singing and it's more song oriented. So you plan um, to release a solo album without singing? Oh, no, they're singing. No, no. Do you plan to do uh, Do I plan to do a solo it? Just album? a guitar album? Yeah, just a guitar album. Uh, I've that? talked about it. We've talked about it. Like yeah. doing sort of. Um, I'm a big fan of like the, the Jeff Beck records from the 70s, you know, like Wired and. Um, those, what else, there's a few of them that I'm just, I, I love the, the sort of raw, dry sound of it. But it's a tough sell, you know, and it's tough to keep, uh, to keep, I can't listen to, even, even those records, I adore them. Um, it's hard for me to, to sit and listen to the whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just tend to, it's just, all right, all right, I get it, you're good, you know. Yeah. I, I, I can do this too. It's, I, I get kind of like, okay. But don't you have all the guitar stuff in your in your head? What uh, what it's worth to uh, to bring it down on the record? Yeah, I'd like. Well, if it's not right, for, I'd like to do it in a song within the context of yeah. the song and have it suit the song. Yeah. You know, um, if it doesn't suit the song, it's a, it's a, it's a distraction. Then it sounds like I'm saying, "Look what I can do over here, over here. Look what I can do." And it's a, it, you know, I I would much prefer a. You know, like it's someone like a Jimmy Page, like they're always serving the song. All the yeah. things were always serving the song. The song is the, 
you know, that's the whole reason that the, uh, if there's no song, there's no guitar solo, you know, yeah, sure. just, then it's just wanking. You might as well be at home alone in your bedroom with no one listening. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I uh, maybe I shouldn't say, there's a lot of people that can do that and really hold my attention for a while. Just like Eric Johnson, for instance, like he could just sit, stand on a street corner and I would, you know, in a blizzard and I would just sit there. Watching them for hours. Yeah. For hours, <laughs> we play the same like over and over and over. And I was just like, mm. I've done it too. Um, so yeah, I, you know, it's just I don't I don't really think it's my thing. You know, there's guys there's guys out there who do that. And uh, but I think you should you, sh you should do that. You it's all. so it's so hard though because it's yeah. so, I I you know. I mean the creative process to, to do all. Yeah, I just uh, I don't know what what goes into it. Yeah. How you go about making a song. And and you know I've written a lot of music that that has no no lyrics to it. Yeah. Um, but again, it's like uh, it doesn't really have the room in it for for a shredding go off. You yeah. know, it, because all the melodies and all the parts are already there. Um, so and it's brings... like the jam section. I, I just and it's been so long since I've sort of flexed that muscle of just like jamming. We don't jam it that much anymore. And that's, mm -hmm. that's a shame because I used to really enjoy just going off. We, we fit jams into our set. That's when we do it, you yeah. know, while we're playing a show. Um, where is it? Oh, it's free time. <laughs> yeah. Do we, we uh, you know, and there's certainly a lot of magic can happen when, it, when everybody's on the same page and enjoying themselves and, and having a sort of musical conversation, I think. But, you know. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I, we've talked about it. I, I'll, I'll leave it there. Like, we've talked about it. And I think it'd be, it'd be an interesting experiment. I just, I, I'm sort of scared because I'm like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I could keep I mean, my I, own attention, yeah. you know, listening back. I'd be like, eh. I'm, I mean, I am a huge fan of guitar instrumental music. I have yeah. so many instrumental records. Yeah. Really? All yeah. those guys. Yeah, sure. Well, maybe I'll yeah, make it's... one just for you then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> right. it is, well, you know. Yeah. So, how many albums do you uh, did you do with uh, Big Rec now? Big Rec uh, four. Four. Yeah. So, so, what's the album that people have to buy now? Ghosts, I think. That's yeah. the most recent. That's my favorite. I think. Favorite? I think it's the most focused. Yeah. 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 I think it's, it's sort of. You know, I think I've gotten better at. I think I've gotten better at, at sort of realizing what I want. You know. Yeah. Um, over the years, so yeah, it, Ghost is, is the, sort of the most realized to me, okay. and certainly you know Albatross, uh, and the first one, all of them, they, oh. they all have, they all have. I mean, at the own, end, all of them, could, yeah, sure, yeah. Thing. But Ghost, yeah. Ghost is a good, a good starting point because it has elements of each of the previous ones. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so you want to play some more? So you want to grab the old guitar? <laughs> <laughs> Micro bendings, you do that half step or micro or <laughs> Yeah, it takes a, a little bit of I do a lot of bending. Yeah. Um, that's an interesting exercise is to try and not bend in. I'm still doing I'm still pull, pulling yeah. a third. hard for me to do. Sort of like, uh, 
that are like the ooh. <laughs> that, that's my lick. <laughs> that's my lick right there. Instead of going to G like this, let's do it like this. There's there's my. Uh, okay, so you're a big riff guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a riff guy. But this morning I'm a riff guy. Tonight I'll be, uh, you know, Lenny Shreddy for sure. All right. So Hamburg is left. Cologne is left. Berlin is left. Big wreck on tour in Germany. Yeah. After Germany, um, I think back to uh, back to Canada, and uh, okay. I might be doing some. Uh, I might be doing some shows, solo shows. Um, okay. Yeah. So three more dates here. Yeah. So Ian, that's it. All right, man. Thank you for that. Indeed. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. Cheers.